Well, Valley hospitals are bracing for the full impact of the Christmas and New Year's holidays. One hospital already is issuing a disaster declaration after getting a surge of patients. 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen is live near Buffalo in the 215 with more on how hospitals are dealing with all of this pressure, Jeremy. Yeah, Todd and Tricia, that declaration was made at this hospital right behind me, the St. Rose Dominican Hospital here in Southwest Vegas. Now, at the same time, doctors do not want to discourage anyone from coming to this hospital despite all the news. Valley hospitals being stretched and facing pressure as capacity remains high with COVID patients still showing up. St. Rose Dominican Hospital in Southwest Vegas issuing a disaster declaration, saying it had an ICU occupancy of 137% and treated more than 70 COVID patients this past Saturday. Sunrise Hospital is continuing to deal with high capacity as it set up a specific treatment center outside to be proactive with COVID patients. The purpose is to treat COVID patients in those early stages to prevent hospitalization, to take off that pressure. It's asking people if they need to go to the hospital for a serious issue, they should still come. I don't want any patients out there to uh, not come to the hospital, but what's most important for the community is to protect themselves, and what we encourage is masking, social distancing. UNLV health professor Brian Labus echoing those calls. You don't want people to stay home and have a serious condition, and they wind up dying from that condition in their homes. That's the challenge, though, is how do we take care of all of those patients plus COVID on top of that? And doctors at the hospitals we reached out to are asking people to continue following the guidelines to prevent the spread of COVID, like washing your hands and social distancing. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.